spasmodic dysphonia is diagnosed really based on what the patient sounds like. They can walk into the office and within 35 seconds, just listening to them speak, you can diagnose someone with spasmodic dysphonia. Uh, you want to look at the vocal folds and the larynx to make sure that the anatomy is normal, except that there are spasms uh, during the breaks in the voice. And you also want to look, uh, do a neurologic exam. Um, to make sure there's nothing else going on. Sometimes you can have dystonia in other parts of your body that you're unaware of. When diagnosing spasmodic dysphonia, sometimes you'll have to distinguish that from another diagnosis called muscle tension dysphonia. Occasionally patients with these disorders sound similar and usually it's when the voice is just consistently strained without the typical breaks that you see in spasmodic dysphonia. If that's the case and it's unclear, to help distinguish between the two disorders, we'll send you to voice therapy. Um, to which muscle tension dysphonia usually responds quite well. And if that's not helping, we then may treat you with Botox injections to which spasmodic dysphonia will respond quite well. Uh, and that will help make the ultimate diagnosis in the end.